Where do we come from? The formation of the universes. Our universe was created through the so-called Big Bang 46 trillion years ago. Two parallel universes were created, the Duran universe and the Dal universe. We are living in the Dern universe, in a galaxy that we call the Milky Way, which has billions of suns with planets. There are about 7 million smaller and bigger solar systems with planets that have higher forms of human life. The Milky Way is inhabited by 7.5 million different human civilizations in different evolutionary stages. There are civilizations that are very progressive in science, technology, medicine, social and material living conditions. Also, many planets and moons only have tiny organic life or only mammals, birds, fish, beetles, insects, etc. However, the vast majority of planets don't bear any fauna or flora. Earth Formation About 5 billion years ago, the Earth became a solid planet from its previous gaseous form, along with other planets in the solar system. The first primitive life on Earth developed from a single cell organism into a primal life form in a process that is called evolution. There was no instant creation of the human being or planets. All the creatures began their evolution in the same way, by a series of evolutionary steps. This includes flora and fauna, creatures that live underground and above ground, birds, mammals and so on. Absolutely everything that makes our environment a living world. Bacteria also occasionally came to Earth with meteors or cosmic dust that fell down to the surface of our planet and, over time, evolved into higher forms of life. Human Evolution The first process of the human being that began developing to become a human being started between 9 to 12 million years ago and this happened in stages. The life form from which the human being developed is known by the archaeologists of Earth as Adelo Basilius Cromptoni. This creature developed into the so-called primates. From these primates evolved the human being lineage and the ape lineage both of which developed separately from each other. Human beings and apes continued developing as completely separate creatures, each on their own path to progress and evolution. Contrary to the apes, the human beings developed a higher evolutionary capability. Instead of leading a life based on instincts, they started to develop their consciousness and through it became aware of themselves as life forms that can make deliberate decisions. So slowly and in stages over millions of years, these primates developed to be the human beings we are today. When the universe was formed, there were originally 343 different human skin colours. Currently on Earth, we have remnants of five different kinds of human beings who are of extraterrestrial origin. They came from Mars, the former planet Malona, the constellation of Lara Vega, and the Sirius region. The planets of the two latter locations are shifted from our space-time configuration, which means that they cannot be seen from Earth. Over a long period of time, people from the Sirius region also established themselves on planet Mars and Malona. On Mars, there were pyramids and space stations, etc., built by those early civilizations. These artifacts were eliminated a couple of years ago by forces from the Sirius region. 
The Chinese and Japanese races are the youngest inhabitants of our planet Earth. They are originally from the planet Kudra of the Nissan star system, but they emigrated to planet Nizan of the Lyra star system two and a half million years ago. And then, 26,000 years ago, some of them emigrated to Earth. From them, the Chinese and Japanese people developed as we know them today. Currently, the Earth is overpopulated by a mixture of human races with terrestrial and extraterrestrial ancestors, evolving as many human civilizations have done in other places in the universe.